So the idea of a bootstrap or bootstrapping techniques is one that's been adopted by startup businesses, young companies, uh, new organizations, and the idea is kind of starting on a shoestring. And if you use the idea of the bootstrap, and everybody's kind of you know, heard that, like pull yourself up by your bootstraps. And essentially what it means is at the time when this was started back in the 1800s, your boots were generally very high, almost to your knees, and had two small pieces of leather that were sewn on either side of the boot that you would grab these straps, bootstraps, and you would use those to pull them up. But what it essentially meant is that, you know, you're in bed and, and you know, when the first thing you would do when you jump out of bed is you, you know, put your boots on and off you go. And the idea of bootstrapping or pulling yourself up by your bootstraps was kind of the, the uh, analogous to getting ready, to getting going, to getting started. For us, bootstrapping techniques was really identified to undercapitalize or undeveloped business. So the idea of bootstrapping or bootstrapping techniques really speaks to companies that are in businesses that are just getting started, generally undercapitalized, really have no personnel possibly other than the person that's getting it started. So we're going to talk about some tips and techniques that I'm going to encourage you. Now, interestingly enough, the things that we're talking about, I believe, are applicable to all businesses. I, I kind of like that agile business model that says we're constantly in a startup because the circumstances our business is facing is different than it was yesterday or last year or two years ago or three years ago. I believe that the really the most successful businesses are constantly in that startup mode. They never actually leave that startup mode concept, right? Although they may have some maturity and have some wisdom underneath their belt, they're always in that startup mode. This is going to be the first thing that I want you to be able to think of. And again, generally when we do these lists or we put things on the board, it's not indicative of the first one is the most important, the last one is the least important or vice versa. That's not the case. But in this case, however, it's going to be the number one thing on your list. You need to create a business that can generate immediate cash. Immediate cash. You want to create your business or a component of your business that can generate immediate cash. Here's what we see a lot. And by the way, the cash could be in sales. Uh, the cash could be from investors. The cash could be from a bank loan, it could be from your own 401k, it could be an equity loan on your house. Whatever it is, you need to create a business that by virtue of the business can generate immediate cash. So I'm going to talk about sales because that's kind of the world that we're, we're in. So you want to create a business that can generate immediate cash. There's something about what you do that isn't really requiring you to have a long period of time. And I see a lot of businesses when they get started and maybe they're developing something and maybe it's a technology business and they've had the business for one, two, three, four years and they still haven't made a sale, right? They're trying constantly to bring in investors. They're undercapitalized. They're always looking for ways to bring in money to keep the life plan, to keep this going and yet they're not making any sales. So you need to start your business in such a way, in my opinion, that can generate immediate sales. It's always easier to go from something to something more than to go from zero to something. So I want to get that, that starting point. So figure out what you can do that can generate immediate business. It could be a product or a portion of a product. It could be a service or an entry line version of a service. But it's got to be something that generates immediate cash. Why? Most businesses go out of business. They cease to function because of the inability of the business to provide for the financial needs of the owner. And I've watched wonderful businesses with incredible opportunity and potential end up going out of business, ceasing to exist because the owner had to go back to work. They had to get another job. They have to find something to pay their bills. So the first thing is, that how does this thing make money? How does what you do make money? And how can you create a portion of it that generates immediate business? And again, it doesn't have to be enormous amounts of business, but it does need to generate a cash flow very early in the game.